Back in 2018, investment firm ARK Invest shocked the investment community by putting a $4,000 price target on Tesla when the stock was only at $300 a share. While ARK's estimates are typically looking five years out, Tesla ended up hitting this target two years earlier than ARK Invest had expected. Now, the investment firm has released an updated model for their expected Tesla value for the year 2026, which is now set at $4,600 per share. Tesla shares have of course undergone a 5 to 1 split in August 2020 and now reside closer to $1,000 per share, so this in effect would represent a 5x over the next 5 years if ARK turns out to be right once again. Tesla analyst Tasha Keeney, who focuses on autonomous and 3D printing related technologies with her research at ARK Invest, recently presented the new Tesla valuation model, which focuses mainly on Tesla's electric vehicle business, as well as a future robotaxi ride hailing network, which could end up capturing the majority of Tesla's earnings by 2026, given a much higher margin software business as compared to vehicle sales. ARK's numbers have also grown dramatically over their prior year 2025 estimates, adding in 66% revenue growth, and they also didn't have the robotaxi dominating the earnings for 2025, but they believe this will change in 2026. In a recent interview with CNBC, Tasha Keeney echoed Elon Musk's plans to bring a dedicated robotaxi vehicle to market. This robotaxi will have no steering wheel or pedals, which means it will fully rely on Tesla's camera-only approach for full self-driving capability. And Tasha Keeney notes that if anything, this shows that Tesla as a whole is fully committed to this vision of launching a robotaxi business. Elon Musk has stated that Tesla is aiming for volume production in 2024, and it's not a prototype or a small number of cars. When Tesla says volume production, this could be quite meaningful. And so as Tasha Keeney notes, Elon Musk can promise software updates to FSD and being safer than a human eventually, and it doesn't really cost the company anything if they miss these deadlines. However, if Tesla is putting resources into a hardware product that literally can't be shipped unless the software is working correctly, then things just got pretty serious and the company is putting their money where their mouth is about building an actual robotaxi fleet. And so ARK Invest has been valuing Tesla for many years based on this future robotaxi service which may finally come to fruition. They've also suggested that Tesla do a human-based ride-hailing business which appears in their numbers even though Elon Musk has directed the company to shoot for fully autonomous and not even focus on a human driver ride-hailing business at all. Tasha Keeney's models expect, at the midpoint, a 2024 launch of a robotaxi service which is two years after Elon Musk says they will solve for fully autonomous driving. But Tasha Keeney says, I think this could be huge. And just to clarify that Tesla doesn't need the custom robotaxi designed vehicle in order to launch this type of service, since any Tesla vehicle will be able to sport the FSD software. Currently, the FSD beta program has over 100,000 users using the autonomous software on the road today, and they're planning for an even wider release. And by the way, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and financial data going back 10 years, and it's all freely available. Now, ARK's valuation model makes use of a Monte Carlo simulation, where ARK Invest sets 38 different parameters, up from 34 last year, and then they run it a million times, taking the top and bottom 25% as their bull and bear case, and the midpoint as the expected value, which is also their price target for the stock, $4,600 per share in this case. Technically, the chances of any of the simulation scenarios actually panning out in real life is about zero, but it may help to give ARK Invest an idea of the kind of earnings numbers Tesla could put up in five years' time if they're correct with their assumptions. ARK sets the parameters of the simulation, but really, anything can happen, and they're in a sense looking at just a portion of Tesla in a vacuum, meaning that they acknowledge that they're not trying to value all of Tesla's different businesses, and at the same time, the model doesn't take into account external factors such as changes in the business due to competition or other economic factors. For instance, it in no way would be able to predict a component shortage, which we've seen play out over the past few quarters. 
Thus, the model should likely be taken with a grain of salt, and just because it has a higher complexity, which may give a greater perception of thoroughness, doesn't mean it's in any way more accurate than, say, a simple PE ratio analysis for 2026. Personally, I prefer the simplicity of the price-to-earnings ratio and its back-of-the-napkin ease of use. However, it's almost like if you asked Elon Musk how to model a company's future earnings prospects in five years from now, he might say that you would need to solve for real-world economics and build a massive simulation that takes into account the economy and other companies, and even that might not be an accurate predictor of what actually happens in real life. Another thing to note is that ARK's price targets for Tesla are always looking five years out, and so the numbers are very large. $4,600 per share is way above the current stock price, and that might be difficult for investors to wrap their heads around especially if every other analyst is using a 12-month price target. This makes ARK's estimates appear to be absurdly high, which in my opinion has a negative effect on the stock in the short term. When fund managers, for example, see people saying that, oh, Tesla's going to $4 trillion, that's almost like a signal that things are getting out of hand and they sell. However, on the other side of the coin, ARK Invest estimates tend to actually end up being on the conservative side in the long term in the five-year time horizon that they're looking at. And again, we saw Tesla hit their first $4,000 price target two years earlier than expected, pointing to the fact that ARK may not have been bullish enough. So this is a tough balance for them to strike. In this year's model, ARK outlines some of the bull and bear case results of their simulation. For 2026, they expect 10 million Teslas to be sold in their bear case and 17 million in their bull case. I like how they greatly reduce the average selling price as the volume grows. This makes a lot of sense, since in order for Tesla to reach a larger market, the average price needs to be a lot lower. But really, in any given year, Tesla always has issues, whether it's supply shortages, factory shutdowns, COVID, potential recessions, inflation, whatever it may be. And so that seems to be baked into the bear case. At the same time, I believe the bull case can reflect a series of years where there's actually some smooth sailing. Now the 17 million bull case volume number is possible, anything is possible, but that does seem to be way ahead of even Tesla's own estimates for vehicle deliveries. Tesla wants to hit 20 million cars per year by 2030, and ARK's bull case is 17 million four years before that. But that may imply that in the bull case, they expect Tesla to exceed the 20 million vehicle goal, and that is something that Elon Musk has hinted at saying that he wants to move the needle for the industry and his 20 million vehicle number is very much a rough estimate that could change. ARK also thinks that the autonomous robotaxi business could be massive by 2026, $51 billion in revenue in the bear case and an astounding $486 billion in the bull case, almost as much as the vehicle business, and this would be a high margin recurring revenue stream that all depends on when full self-driving is solved or becomes considerably safer than a human. So they definitely believe that Tesla can flip the switch immediately and start earning a ride-hailing revenue share. ARK also keeps adding in a human-driven ride-hailing estimate, but Elon Musk has made it pretty clear that the company isn't going to be working on that, and so I'd recommend that this be completely removed from the model, even though ARK is looking at it as a fallback option. It's still strange though, because they're purposely not modeling in businesses like stationary storage or solar, things that we know exist today that the company is working on, but they are modeling in human ride hailing, something that the company is deliberately not working on. In a footnote, ARK also references a quote from Tesla's Q3 conference call in 2020, where Elon Musk estimated that insurance was substantial and could be worth 30 to 40% of the car business. ARK Invest says they disagree with this, and they think it will only be about 2% of Tesla's 2026 market cap. That's still a $90 billion business. But one thing to point out here is that they can actually both be right, because at the time when Elon said this, the market cap of Tesla was about $400 billion. 30% of that is about $120 billion, and that dollar value is in the ballpark of ARK's $90 billion estimate, it's just that ARK believes that the vehicle business will grow to be so much larger in the future that insurance may be a smaller portion. Insurance is still a high margin lucrative business and it also lowers the price of owning a Tesla, which may make Teslas more compelling. That was one of the reasons why it was created in the first place because the other insurance companies were charging extremely high amounts to insure a Tesla. ARK has also added a few new inputs into this model compared to last year's model, including Bitcoin price appreciation. 
Now, I don't think that having Bitcoin on the balance sheet should affect Tesla's valuation at all. And ARK seems to acknowledge that the balance sheet decisions are not the primary driver of growth. But today, Tesla's holding about $1 billion of Bitcoin, which is about 0.1% of Tesla's market cap. Even if Bitcoin went up 10 times before 2026, it would only be 1% of Tesla's current market cap and a fraction of that of ARK Invest's 3 to $5 trillion valuation in five years from now. I think it would be more interesting if Tesla created some product or service using Bitcoin or Dogecoin or some other crypto asset that actually added value for Tesla over time, like a concept that ARK has spoken about elsewhere, such as if a new power wall came with low-cost built-in mining hardware that made you money when your solar panels were providing excess energy that otherwise would be lost if the battery is full, for example. That product could open up new doors for Tesla, but holding a relatively small amount for Bitcoin probably doesn't belong in this model. Now, despite the fact that ARK is leaving out the energy business and other businesses that Tesla is working on and focuses primarily on vehicle sales and robotaxis, they still see massive increases in Tesla's price. By 2020, they expect a $22,500 per share value, and that's not the bull case. That's their expected case. So a 22x in eight years. ARK is also using a conservative, mature multiple on the company, which may not be the case if the company is still growing rapidly in eight years from now, perhaps due to the other businesses that have not been modeled. It's almost like looking at what Tesla has today and then building it up using some growth rate into what the businesses will look like in 2026 is sort of the wrong way to look at Tesla. To value a company, you want to look to the future and then discount it back to the present. Or in ARK's case, they need to look far into the future and discount it back to 2026. So just because energy is small today doesn't mean it can't be enormous in, say, 10 years from now, when Tesla has an abundance of batteries and growth is no longer limited by supply constraints and diverting batteries to the vehicle business. And this energy business is something that's quite likely to occur because we see the evidence in the products today. They just need to be scaled to extreme size, which Tesla is working on. And so that's an example of something that may be significant in 10 years from now that's missing from the model and may lead to ARK's estimates to being too conservative. It would be interesting to see a deeper analysis as to when and why ARK thinks that Tesla's FSD will enable the launch of the Tesla network. Elon Musk is looking at Tesla's own data that shows a trend towards being safer than a human. And I think if ARK modeled that, that could be useful for better predicting when and why a robotaxi service launch will occur and where Tesla's confidence comes from. FSD is also important for the Tesla bot, another product that Elon Musk said Tesla is actively working on. I would say that the likelihood of this coming to fruition is the same as ARK's confidence in a robotaxi service. If Tesla can solve for real-world vision in order to drive, then it opens up the door for a humanoid robot software. You might say that the Tesla bot Optimus division is worth zero today because Tesla doesn't make any robots, but the whole point is to model the future and then discount it to the present. How many robots will Tesla be making in 2030 or 2035, and how will that business model work? And then discount that back to 2026 or today, and it will have a much greater value than zero. Another example is that autonomous software can also contribute to the delivery of freight with an autonomous Tesla Semi, but it doesn't seem like its applications outside of consumer ride hail are being modeled. Overall, I think that the vehicle business is actually the easiest to model using back of the napkin calculations, multiplying an average price by the expected volume. The simulation's guess is just as good as anyone else's. But ARK has gone the extra step to focus on robotaxis and how much value that could create for the company, and I think that's very valuable for investors. However, I think this business immediately opens up new future businesses like robots, which no one is really looking at at all. The energy division also keeps getting pushed off to the side, despite Elon Musk saying that it will be as large as vehicles. When does ARK believe that a growth spurt in this segment will occur? So modeling these business that Tesla is actively working on, but everyone is ignoring in their valuations because they're too small or they don't see evidence of it yet, I think would add a lot of value to investors, especially with ARK's expertise in these fields. It would also be interesting if ARK believes that Tesla will surpass the 20 million vehicle estimate set by the company itself. If any major competitors in legacy auto go bankrupt, someone will need to fill in their place. And so Tesla or other automakers could see increased volumes, especially if those automakers that haven't invested enough in EVs see massive declines in their businesses. 
So what do you think about ARK Invest's Tesla valuation model? Do you think they should be looking far into the future at things like how many Tesla bots Tesla could produce per household, per business, or per planet? And why even stop at humanoid robots? Perhaps it feels too far into the future, but Elon Musk has indicated an age of abundance. So do you think that it makes sense to not dismiss these factors that the company has stated? Please hit the like button and subscribe. We would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.